All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream. I decided to start early since I'm actually a little bit ahead. So why not, you know, that way I can take my time. Hey, Jerry, how you doing? Good morning, Moo. Let me get and check, um, check audio here. It's important, you know. All right, sounds good. Do that, switch over there. Um, so I'm on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm on day four of changing one setting in voice meter potato. And, and I think I suspect something's going wrong with my system in regards to my microphone. Cause my microphone kept being unselected in voice meter. And yes, it's a software version of a mixer, but I've been using it for years. Anyway, um, I did a little bit of, um, actually I did a lot. I went and collected a lot of nitrates and ice to get nitrogen. I needed lots of nitrogen. I, I don't think I fully understand the concept of cooling. And I know a lot of people were very, very patient with me yesterday trying to give me analogies and stuff like that. For some reason, you know, some people just aren't gonna get it until maybe they actually physically build something, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Um, but what I, I think I summarized that it's based upon, how do I say this? I think it's relatively, is that the right word? It's all about volume, I think is what I wanna say. So if you have something that's very warm, let's say you've got five gallons of hot whatever, but you have a way to passively cool it. If what you have to cool it is smaller, it's gonna take longer to cool it. So it's 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 apples to apples, oranges to oranges, I, I think is, is uh, what I've bottomed out on. Now, when it comes to efficiency, that's gonna be another struggle. I was trying to fix this problem. So see, stationers launched right up. So what I did yesterday, and I wanna put some more uh, panels online. Efficiency doesn't really matter, so as long as you get the concept. Okay, well, I appreciate that, Electra, thank you. Yeah, because it's always been a struggle with games that are, I guess, what do you say, engineering-based to do something more efficient. And I tried to do that in Kerbal, and I figured, you know, as long as I get a rocket into orbit and get going where I want, I'm, be, I'm doing good. So this is what I did. This was based upon your suggestion, is I got a big old insulated tank down here, and it's filled with nitrogen. Um, but I have another problem. So 
what uh, what we have here is not pressure but how much is actually in the pipe network right so if this tank is connected to all these pipes which i think i have in a bizarre parallel configuration it's not the pressure it's the moles that's not the right thing so we have 3.19 kilomoles and if what i understand that number should never change whether it gets warmer or colder what's going to change is the temperature and the pressure yes Oh, look at that. I get a feather in my hat. So if I have three point, we'll say 3.2 kilomoles, and then over here in this network, it's going to be always changing. We have, I'd have to add it up, but it looks like much less, right? So I'm going to say maybe six kilomoles. But here's another problem. So I, I was, <laughs> someone told me that the evaporation, right? So these are, or the condensed into evaporations is broken. So I, I piled on a bunch of evaporators because what I saw was the stress was starting to go up and the liquid was starting to go up. Yeah. So I wanted to try a couple things to see what would work. And I think you told me there was something electro. I think you told me they added a couple of things to be lazy, right? So I don't know what the proper way is to get rid of. Hey monster, there's a, I'm gonna complicate. No, that's not how you spell it, purge. There's a purge valve allows for the removal of pressure gas and evaporated liquids from a liquid pipe. Moves gas from the input liquid pipe to the output. Oh, that's what I want then. I want to, so I need to get a pressure regulator. All right, hang on. That's not a pressure regulator. That's just so darn bright. Oh, is that my headlight doing that? Oh, that's my headlight doing that. Uh, when they first released the phase change, the passive condenser and expansion valves seem to work. Oh, the, the what you're talking about, what I have right now, right. But in the patches since, they seem to have been broken. The active ones, I think, are still working. All right, so hang on, let, let me, I, I appreciate what you're saying, Electro. So passive versus active. So those, what I have hooked up are passive because they're not really doing anything. The active one, would that be like this? Uh, hang on. Would that be one? Oh, I need iron. Do I have iron? I made iron. I did a lot of smelting last night. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. That's what I thought you were getting at. All right, so there is a purge valve. So I want to try this purge valve because it sounds like it's going to do what I want it to do. Um, all right, so where do I want to do this? I'm going to... I'm going to, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Um, um, first of all, if I turn, oh, that one's not even on. Okay. So the stress level is at 626. If I turn all these off except for two, it starts climbing, but it doesn't go any higher though. And then this thing, this thing. So it goes from liquid to gas. 
All right, so let's just try to uh, take out one of these. See what it does. I want to leave those two going. Oh, but it needs power. Okay. Um, that makes it difficult. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I'm making a mess. Is it going to blow up? No? Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm not, I'm not too sure what that should be set to, but does it do anything? Well, it went from 17 to 11 on the stress. What happens if we increase this? I didn't do anything. Okay, the liquid is going down in here. Oh dear. All right, so right now I have, um, I've only got two passive open and the other ones are closed and the liquid went up. Now somebody in chat yesterday said that the condensation can't keep up with the evaporation. That's getting worse. That went down. That's interesting. All right, let's make a drastic change here and see what happens. The, the purge valve. So it is a it is a pressure regulator sort of thing, right? Maybe it's just broke. So 23.4 liquid. <laughs> I don't think that works. All right, that doesn't work, I don't think. So once again, the purge valve 
moves gas from the input liquid to the output gas pipe. And that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think you're right. So that bears the question of, Electra, I think you're the one that said that the phase change devices, the lazy devices, I wonder if they work. So I'd need two of these. So the only way to keep any liquid from forming is to make sure that whatever your temperatures are, they're above the freezing temperature. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try. I mean, what's worst that could happen? I could have a fire. I mean, I already had that. Yeah, I mean, I know I always try to go for a target of uh, 30 degrees Celsius, but um, all right. So since I got some room to work with here, let's see here. What do we got? This is the evaporation chamber. That's the so what do we got? Power in, water out. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Um, hang on. How you doing, Ben? Still trying to learn this. All right. So I'm gonna go in the same order I was doing here. So I've got evaporation or condensation, so this is the condensation one. Oh, I gotta build it. <laughs> okay, I gotta build it. Uh, I'm guessing a weld, maybe. No, a wrench and what? Steel sheets. Huh? And then a welding torch. So that's gas input and it's liquid output. So I basically want to do, oh, there's gauges and stuff. All right, hang on a sec. Uh, all right, hang on, wait, 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 wait. Give myself a little bit more working room here. <laughs> I remember once I welded a frame and there was something sitting on top and I was over it and the physics in the game popped it up, it hit my, my it hit me and damaged my suit. Oh, all right. So let me turn this around so I can see what the heck's going on here. So, yeah. Oh, angle grinder. There it is. There's the angle grinder. And drill. Then, all right. So let's put it like that. So this needs liquid in and gas out, which is exactly what 
this does. It takes liquid to gas. So condensation. Oh, that's evaporation. I did the wrong one. Doggone it, Andy. I'll, I'll, I'll get this right. I swear I'll do it right. Gives me good practice. So I want the evaporation. No, I want condensation, right? I'm putting it in the same order I have here just so I can get my, my brain squared away because I know what condensation is and I know what evaporation is, but I don't know if there's a particular order that things have got to be done. Do you take the water or the condensation from the gas and pass it to the evaporator? That's what's happening over here passively, right? So this is bringing anything that's liquid. Pressure in the pipe is dangerously high. Oh, all right, well, that's supposed to purge it. Oh, look at that. All right, well, hopefully we can fix this. So you take the condensation, then you evaporate it. That, that's how I understand it, unless it's something a little bit more complicated than that. So we want to take the condensation. Where's the gadgets at? Is it on this side? Or is it on that side? It's on this side. It's got a few more doohickeys and whatnot, but I think the concept is the same. And then the other... So that's got another gas pipe as an input. So that's how you'd pass The problem here is that this uses power to forcibly condense instead of just purging the condensation. Well, if that stuff is broke, this is my only option, right? So yes, if I have no power, then I, I am subjected to a, a bigger problem, you're right. So I think... <clears throat> So I need to put a heat exchange between the two? Really? All right, so if this is my gas input, this is my water output, this needs to go That's input. So we're doing the same thing here. Gas input, gas output. All right, so I don't have to connect these together then. All right. Okay, 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 okay. That, did, that, that won't work. All right, well, let me, let me hook it up. Let me hook these up the same way as those. See if there's a difference. I thought that we would pass one to the other but maybe that's how the pipe configuration on the gas input so that's got to come from here that's the water output which goes 
Uh, I need to connect that to this. Ooh, yeah, that's what I need to do. All right. Hang on, I'm going to get really goofy here with some stuff. Um, first of all, let's just get the power squared away. There's our power. It's gonna complain because of stuff. All right. The condensation is gonna take gas in, then water out, which is what's going on here, would take the condensation past it to there. So the condensation is stored in this tank, and then these valves are supposed to take the condensation evaporated. So, um, let's try the evaporator first. So this needs to be connected. I need some more insulated. Hey, I got more pipe, All right? Not quite enough. Do I have any more on my locker? <laughs> I don't. Uh. I was um I was playing around with the cooling and again I I swapped out the small one for the big one and I I understood I I understand that what I had before was a small cooling system but there was too much volume for it to cool so it was going to take repetitive state or it was going to take one very long duration until I got to the temperature I wanted so once I started adding more volume on this side enough to equal or surpass what's here. Hey, Neb. Then it was starting to click because even though this wasn't getting as cold as the smaller amounts, there's more, how'd you get, how'd you say it? There's more energy being held. And I go, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Silicone, you are the bane of my existence, dude. I'll get those pipes in a sec. And I, I hear people saying that too, energy and stuff like that, but I just, it, you know, it's one of those things that just wasn't clicking. All right, so in all actuality, if I turn this on, Okay, so we need to go gas back to here. Do I have any brown pipes? Oh, I don't have any brown pipes. Hang on. You know, now I kind of regret not 
even thinking about trying to take any sort of physics class. I mean, granted, when I was in high school and college, there probably wasn't any real lab to do it. It would have been all just like drawings and stuff. But when you have something to do something with, for me, that's a much better learning experience. A little on hands. Doesn't have to be on the job training, just on hands, you know? This does not mimic physics. In fact, many things are the polar opposite. Well, all right, so I'm not learning anything except for how to how to manipulate a game mechanic, I guess. But I don't want that. Hey, hey, hey. Like in reality, a radiator in space, like the ones that are on the space station, causes infinite heating in the sun. I was under the impression that the radiators on the space station uh, pull the heat away from the station. All right, so let's do this. Is there such a thing as infinite heat though? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm learning each time I do something. And if I get something to work in the game and it's not real, that is, that's okay. Because then I know that what works in the game isn't real. All right, so let's see what happens here. So I have to turn this on. There's no comp, whoa, whoa. I don't know what that means. Hey, look at that. So this, the liquid's going away. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It went down, but now it's coming back up. All right, so, all right, hang on, let's turn this off. Now it's shooting back up. All right, so let's hook up the, uh, so what is this supposed to be? Heat exchange connection. Connection for evaporation chamber. What? Gas output. Input. I'll oh, close the other valves. All right, thanks. I'll try anything. I don't have the other side hooked up. I just want to see if this is going to do anything. That's causing a oh, I, I think I know what you're saying. So if I'm doing the evaporation, I still need the condensation to open. All right. That's much better. So somebody tell me what this is for. Heat exchange. Is this where I actually have to have it? Uh, a heat exchange, one of these things? So I could put the small one and connect one side to one and one side to the other. Is that how that would work? Weird. Hey, Kato, what's up? All right, so hang on. Let me um, let me get the other parts of this hooked up. Uh, do 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 do. Do I have more? I got more pipe. So again, all I have to do is 
loop this in over here. Gotcha. Slow mornings. All right. I wear glasses for a reason. Evidently, it's, they don't work. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just guessing here. All right. So turn that on. Then let's close these and see what's going on. Well, it's working. So all these are closed. I have, so the purge thing is on. Let's see if that, trying to figure out what I actually need to fix the problem if there's a problem. Okay, that's still going down. So what is the difference between I don't want to do that. That looks dangerous. Temperature is 395 Kelvin, but I guess that's right. So if I was to put a heat exchange and connect this one to that one and the other side to that one, I wouldn't need this. Is that what would happen? Okay, so what if we um, increase this to 200? So I still have dangerous pressure levels because of the amount of gas. All right. So they are designed to phase change a single gas for cooling and heating. But that's only if I put a, uh, like one of those in between them. I guess the question I have, this appears to be working, right? The liters are going down. So we're taking the condensation or the liquid out of the system and we're evaporating it. So we're going liquid back to a gas. So what I don't understand here is the pressure here. How come this isn't going down? I mean, there's a lot of cold pollutants, very cold pollutants, and some of it is liquefied, which is being reduced.
So this purge valve, I don't think it does anything. Unless that's too high of a setting. That is your stationpedia phase graph at 126. Sorry, at 126 Celsius. Once those gases. One, once of those gases are probably has a pressure of five megapascals. <laughs> so you're saying if I look up the pollutant And I'm looking for 126. Ooh. All right. Okay. But I guess my question is, how do I fix it? Is this one of those things that just have to be patient, bigger tanks? Oh. All right, so to the right, we have a liquid pollutant, which is going away via evaporation. No, wait, it's actually going up. Now my liquid's going up. it down to make it more liquid on the liquid side or heat it up on the gas side okay all right so this is the liquid side and this is the the gas side now this is separate from this because all the pressure is in there so i need to do something to the contents of this tank which is gas to Cool it down to a liquid. And all these valves are turned off. So I have to do something to the liquid. Or to the gas to make it a liquid. All right. So, um, Okay. All right. Hang on. Let, let me, let me try to do this. So I, I, I don't need these things anymore. These aren't doing anything. They're broken right now. We've, we've already. Condensation is ha happening in the pipe. Well, that's not good. That's one way to deal with it. Temporarily, anyways. So basically, I just purged everything.
Oh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, okay. So... What I need is I do need some storage for the whole condensation thing. And that is happening over there, so I don't need... Let me try to address one problem at a time. So I want liquid to be here for the whole condensation evaporation process, but obviously there was too much gas in the line or too much, yeah, gas. Yeah, and that that's what's that, that's what's giving me a headache. I don't know what to do. I'm just guessing. I have too much gas, too much pressure, so I want to pump the gas out on the gas side. That's what makes sense to me. So if if that's not the solution because
Yeah, but that doesn't, I'm sorry, it doesn't compute. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know, it, there's no, if you have this, do that. that. That's what I'm at a loss. Lower pressure, lower boiling, boiling point. Uh, okay, uh, layman terms, layman terms. Dumb it down even more for me. I, I don't know what to do, That that's a problem. Great information, really. I don't know what to do though. GC is not wrong if there is a gas in there. Okay. Now, now I understand that I'm doing a force of forcibly versus passively, but I'm just trying to fix the problem the best I can. Now the pressure is going back up and I don't know why. It's got something to do with what's going on over here, I think. So looking at the graph, as long as there is any liquid present, it will always be at the pressure listed there. That doesn't make any sense though. I, I I don't know what to do with that information. That that's the problem. So what I'm what I'm trying to do is fix the problem versus understanding this. So why is the pressure going up? Hang on, let me look at these numbers here. So liquids are evaporating. So liquids turning into gas. All right. So the condensation is being drawn out and it's being evaporated into a gas. So we have a red signal here because of temperature. So Ben says it will eventually balance out. All right. So let me, let me just look at one source here. So here I have in a little small little tank is a liquid level that's holding at dot. No, so the liquid level is going down because over here, the liquid, AKA the condensation is being evaporated. Do I have that about right? What's important to note here is that if the pressure is changing, then the contents are not in a steady state. All right, let's go back to my original question or statement or whatever. Yes, I have the machines on, yes. So liquid's going down because the condensation liquid is being evaporated. So the evaporation is gas, which is going up. I understand that, but I understand why it's impacting here. I thought all the gases were going back over here. Oh, I don't get it. When the gas condensates, when the gas turns into a liquid, it releases heat. It'll get hotter. Okay. And hotter is the pressure. Oh, oh, okay. So that's, that's where that pressure is coming from. Okay. So this whole process is causing pressure. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Stupid wireless things are out of whack. 
It's like a heat pump in a freezer. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. All right, so hang on. Let me just, let me stare at some numbers here because what I want is no liquid in my pipes. That makes sense. So if I turn this back on, oops, back on, the pressure is going to go down because it's pumping out the gas. So let me put this in, in Andy terms, in GC terms. Yeah, I have a situation here that I have condensation happening. This right here is a condensation chamber that's supposed to be, if I'm in my simplest terms, this is pulling the condensation out, right? And this is evaporating it. Yes? Is that basically right? And the end result is pressure. Power low. Thanks, Ben. So I have to stand over here to get my battery stored. All right, all right. So if I leave this alone, it's gonna work its way out. Now there's probably a lot more that I could do or is going on. You're making it harder on yourself because you have multiple things hooked up and running at the same time. All right, I, I don't wanna go down that avenue because I'm trying to wrap my hand around one thing versus four things. Hey, good morning, editor, how you doing? Okay, pressure's going down because I'm pumping out the gas. The phase change devices allow you to transfer the heat gain or loss to another pipe. All right, I don't think I'm doing that though. So the liquid here is going down. So what about the liquid here? Also here. All right, good. All right. I got to sneeze. I think I'm allergic to math. So I'm not doing anything passively here. This is all a forced mechanic, I guess. Dusty brains, thanks. <laughs> Electra, I agree with you on that 100%, yes. So what I have hooked up is going to fix the problem. Like Ben says, it's going to balance eventually. Now, is this correct? Also, they can... Wait, uh, also they can jam up if you feed them a mix of gases, which partly do not con 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 condense. 
What is that word? Condensate? Condensate at the operating temperature. Gases which do not condensate. So gas that doesn't evaporate. Or a gas that doesn't turn to a liquid. Okay. So I got, basically what happened is one of the gases, which was pollutant, got too cold in this pipe network. It got too cold and started to liquefy. And that's where my problem started. And that's a result of the phase change too. Man, I, I need a, a bigger can of So again, what I have hooked up eventually is going to balance out. Either too cold or too much pressure. Oh, okay. All right, all right, 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 right. Okay. But I think what I did, Electros, what I did is I hooked, <laughs> I spent a lot of time crushing ice, making nitrogen, and got this, um, Stored a lot of cold energy. Oh, my liquid is going up here. Oh, this is stressing out. So this isn't working. Uh-oh. So eventually, as Electro said before, I'm going to burst a pipe over here. Oh, All right. All right, so hang on. I want I want to I want to do something here, okay? Let me do something here. So right now my furnace is drained. No, it's not. So, no gas on. Let's empty this. Let me, let me, um, let me, um, uh, hang on. Uh, let's get rid of this, 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 that can go there. So let me go get some iron. Let me just smelt some iron here. That's cool. That's coal. I would suggest you have a wait. I would suggest you have a gas and liquid night side night side to your cooling loop and let it go back and forth between them as it pleases. When a bunch of heat is added to a liquid side, it will empty out. All right, I've got two problems going on here. I think Electro is suggesting how to fix one side of it. Eventually, this is going to get too cold. 
and it's going to cause a problem. Um, what I want to do is I want to introduce some heat. So hang on a sec here. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me try to do something that I kind of understand. So I have an empty furnace here. I think. Yeah. All right. So if I add some gas, uh, let's add more than that. Hang on a sec. Bear with me. Bear with me for a sec here. Let me get this all stuff to a state. So the liquid's going down. So this that process is doing what it needs to do for the liquid. I don't know. What I want to do is create some hot gases and dump it into that network so the temperature goes up. I, I I don't know if it's going to go click yet. So let me. All right. So there's my, there's my 650, right? There's that. So let's turn this off. Do that. Let's start smelting some uh, iron ore here. And cold outside it's cold in the house so i have to raise the temperature in the house i know how to do that so i'm i'm purposely Power low. going to take all of this hot gas very hot and we're going to dump it in here. So pressure's going to go up, temperature's going to go up, which should also, if I'm not mistaken, it should help the evaporation process. Yeah, there's no liquids at all. Now, that's one way to fix the problem I had here. However, I don't want that high of a temperature. Now it's past the boiling point. So no liquid, no stress, but I have a temperature problem. So how do I fix my temperature problem? I, uh, I cool it. So in my mind, I like to have a, an even temperature of gases. So when I do something with it, I know what the temperature is. So over here we have, they're all basically the same. So there's nothing there. All right.
All right, so let me try to bring the temperature down 100 degrees Celsius. Now, by doing that, I'm exchanging this heat for that cold. So I want to see this at about 258 degrees Celsius overall. But I'm going to stop short of that because I want to see. So I, I warmed up over here. So bringing the warmth over is helping evaporate the liquid. and raising the temperature. I knew I was going to do that. So these aren't working. What's working is that I brought heat over here. If you think of a pressure cooker, an Instapot, by increasing the pressure, you increase the temperature. That water can remain a liquid. Uh, okay. I just, I don't know. So the nitrogen follows the nitrogen graph and the pollutant follows the pollutant graph. So the nitrogen follows the nitrogen graph up. All right. I don't want to look at the graph. I, I really don't because that that's, I, I don't think that's really going to help me. What I'm looking for is a definitive solution on what I should do based upon this current situation. I think looking at the graph is putting more information that's not really helping me because I don't know how to use that. There will always be liquid and gas in both pipes. Okay, so the liquid formed because of the cooling. I, I stopped the cooling because I brought the heat over via the exchange, uh, the, this thing. Temporary fix. As long as, as long as a cooling's going on, the nitrogen is going to cool past its cooling point, liquefying it. Okay. So that's what's going on this side because of what I did. So over here, we have no liquid because the pollutant liquid. All right, so hang on. The pollutant liquid 
level. So this is pollutant. We'll liquefy at one, we'll start to liquefy at 173 Kelvin. I use that to store my, my heart to keep it warm. <laughs> You're a cold man, Grim. You're a cold man. I'm hungry. So as long as I don't bring this temperature down below 173 or 99 degrees Celsius, which I don't want, if you kept the nitrogen less than 560 pencils, it would stay. Oh, see, all right. I did that on purpose though. I put it, I put more mass on that side to help cool this. Now, eventually this is going to start to liquefy again. Yep. So I, I need to bottom out on, on something here. Um, hang on. So I'm hungry. So I, st I, I think I still want to work within a concept of having gases, the end result, the filtered gases at the same temperature. Now that's not what I can achieve on this side. Need a Snickers? No, that'll make things worse. I unfortunately had too sweet of a breakfast. Um, I'm not diabetic. Uh, it's an end result that I had back years and years ago. I, I had... Um, I had a gastric bypass. Bacon, yes. I had a gastric bypass to help me with a weight situation I had. The end result, which in my mind, is that if I have too sweet of a breakfast, like I did, it throws off my sugar. Now, usually you say, oh, you're pre-diabetic. I'm not. It's just that I had an unbalanced uh, breakfast. Eventually, it'll balance itself out like this. But if I want to stop it, is what I need to do is either have something savory and coffee. No, if I have if I have a couple spoonfuls waffle? of peanut butter, it balances itself. Solian, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. All right, so. I don't know how to automate the problem here. I can do it manually. My problem here is that I'm always cooling the nitrogen. And the way to stop cooling it is to turn off the radiators with the digital valve but that means they're going to always cool inside the radiators and i'll eventually burst a pipe so i thought by having this in place how 
have a pump out as well as the valve. Well, I think I think it's. Oh, I see what you're saying. All right, 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 right. So, right now I have gas in here that I need to pump back in, but that's what I thought this was supposed to do. Or maybe it did it. Yeah, there's no liquid in there. So this did what it was supposed to do, but my end result is I have gas. I have nitrogen in my water tank. Okay, so I need to do basically what I did here. All right, all right, all right. That's how I'm gonna fix this. I got you. I get you. All right, so let me take a quick break. I need to go get something to snack on. And uh, so I'm gonna do that and uh, uh, do this and um, hang on, <laughs> do that, this, and I'll be right back.
Thank you. 
All righty, I'm back. I had me a snack. I feel much better. Thanks. Level one. What happened? I'm kidding. Awesome. All right. Let's, uh, I made, um, I have fallen in love with, um, rye bread. So I just did a, a no condiments, just a slice of cheese and ham and bread. <clears throat> How was it? Waffles. <laughs> I can't do waffles. All right. So, uh, the fix is, well, my fix anyways, and it may not be the right fix, but we are going to, um, we're just gonna take this gas and put it right back in there because this will never change from being nitrogen. It will always be nitrogen. So I need a, go get a turbo pump. <sighs> My mom made oatmeal bread the other day. I never had oatmeal bread. My mom used to make homemade um, raisin loaf. Now it doesn't sound very good. Oh, but man, it was so good all by itself. I need two of them again. <clears throat> All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that there. That ain't gonna work. All right, I gotta move stuff around. In fact, let's put there. That'll work. Uh, I made roast onion bread. Oh, to go with soup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yum. Well, I hate to, <laughs> so last night we did breakfast, which was, uh, I've only, breakfast is my favorite meal. So we did bacon, eggs, biscuits, and um, very filling, very yummy, you know? And uh, for a month, we have not been doing fast food and it feels so good, so good on the wallet too. Um, I need pipes, that's not enough pipes. That might be enough. Um, so tonight, uh, unfortunately, um, the girls have got a very busy night. So we're just doing hot dogs, biscuits and gravy. Yes. All right. So we're just, oh, that won't work. But we're going to do, um, <clears throat> I agree with you, Electro. Yep. There are some exceptions. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell at that. There are some exceptions. There are a couple of fast food chains to where I trust their food better than others. So KFC, Burger King, McDonald's, Arby's. Um, I don't care what they say is in their beef. No, thank you. <clears throat> From California, we didn't have Chick-fil-A. Well, they opened up one in my area, but it was like right when I left, it was the only one in the Sacramento area. Biscuitville, I, that's right up the road. I have to give them a try. You're right. <clears throat> um, so I, getting chicken nuggets or a, a chicken sandwich from uh, Chick-fil-A, that's actually not a bad meal. It, it, you know, if you don't want to worry about the bread, it's, it's an okay burger or sandwich or whatever. But um, we're gonna do ham and cheese sliders tomorrow. One of uh, Alex's favorites. So I need some more pipe. Checking my locker. Hey there, look at that. Right, hang on, let's, um, I'm trying to get all this stuff separated. All right, so we're gonna go that way, that way, there, and crank that up, and not, not decrease it, increase it. And then we're just gonna cheat off the... Uh, I've had cookouts, I've had cookouts. Ran out of the blue with 500 bits. I was going to donate enough for a McRib from McDonald's. But when I click on the donate thing, it's your profile. Uh, really? Hang on a sec. Well, dude, 
Thank you for bringing that up. It, it, so if you go to, hang on, I don't want to talk twice. It, <clears throat> I think Twitch is having a problem today. So there is the um, donate, which should go to stream elements. Yeah. Should have taken you there. Anyway. Uh, my first experience at cookout, I had a, a, a chicken sandwich, which was so good, or I'm sorry, a barbecue chicken sandwich. It was really tender and really good. I had onion rings and uh, they did not give me my second entree, uh, my second side, but the chocolate shake, oh my God, it put me almost into a sugar shock. My second time, not so good. I decided to go with their, uh, their chicken fajitas, chicken fajitas, chicken quesadillas, chicken quesadillas. Not very good. So might, might've been a bad day for them. I don't know. Hmm. Banana pudding shake. I, I, I like banana pudding shakes. All right. Um, I got pipes. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. What am I doing? I got confused again. No one sells real ice cream anymore. So I stopped getting shakes. Uh, a Wendy's just opened up not too far from drive from it. That's a good as it gets here. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. We want to get rid of that. No, wait, wait, wait. Come here. Connect that to there. Then we can um, toss that there. Oh, look at that. I caused a null ref. <clears throat> um, now, it's... I was telling Alex the other day that I remember the first time I went to McDonald's that the chocolate shake I got, of course, I was only like eight or nine years old. The chocolate shake went through the straw so brilliantly because at the time McDonald's had very big straws. So you could go, you could go to town on a shake. And, uh, you know, as a kid, that's a good thing, by the way. What am I looking for? Okay, that goes there. So now all this gas should be going away. Yay. And the liquid. So this apparently works, but it wasn't working over here, which is strange. So I should no longer have, <clears throat> I don't have a liquid problem because this works. I remember you got a milkshake from Manal's and had to have Super lungs. No, no, it's, I do remember those days. Yes, yes. So no gas there. And the liquid's going down. So this process works. But we're going to have to see how far. All right. So, so let, me, let me ask you guys straight up. Do I need to have anything? Should I have anything hooked up to these ports here that say... Gas heat exchange. Is this where I should take one of those, connect one side to one side and the other one to the other side? Oh man, excuse me. Mm. Russian pipe is dangerously high. Why does it keep saying that? <clears throat> so hang on a sec. Let me. I think that's an error.
I think that was a residual error. I don't think it's a real error. <clears throat> okay. All right. Wait. <clears throat> I honestly don't need anything. Just one passive condensation and one passive expansion valve. But if you're going to use those, you'll want to hook up something hot and cold. Uh oh. Cool sound effect. <clears throat> uh, you need to put a pipe filled with a suitable gas connected to the heat exchange port. All right. I couldn't, I, there was something in the pipe that I couldn't figure out what was going on with it. <laughs> right, noggin. All right, so. So I think I'm done playing around with the cooling. I uh oh, yeah, pipe. <clears throat> I guess my confusion was is I oh there's a gas in there. So how do I get gas out of a liquid pipe? It's still there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. see if that'll work do something here <clears throat> well i don't know what works in the game and i don't know what's broken that used to work in the game so that's why i'm doing this whole learning exploratory gameplay um 
I'm coming back from my wrench. Oh, wait, this should be all brown. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <clears throat> Let's paint that a brown. That there. That there. <gasps> Pipe. Whoa, look at me. I'm flying. Oh, that's right. My wrench is back in the locker. <clears throat> so there's things that are supposed to work a certain way that don't work because they used to work or they broke because of the phase change or the rocket change. Um, be as it may, I just want to understand what I can do when I have a certain kind of a problem, whether it's how it should work in real life or not. I don't want to know that. I want to be productive in my game. Uh, what am I doing? No, I didn't do it. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that would have worked. That, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. <clears throat> I saw some pipes over here. So I do two hours futz around trying to figure out how to remove liquid from a gas pipe. And now I'm trying to figure out how to get gas out of a liquid pipe. So this is a purge valve. And according to this, oops, moves gas from the input liquid to an output. So that's exactly what I want to do, the extra large Radiator can be turned on and off. You mean the one that, that you need water for? Yep. So now we just need some power for, hey, there's power right there. All right, so if I just leave this alone and turn it on, does it work? So maybe I set this to zero. Oh, look at that. That freaking worked. Before I run off to work, something to play with. Volatiles are exceedingly difficult to liquefy. That's a joke, isn't it? All right, so thanks, Ben. So what I have here in my very layman understanding is that the problem I ran into on this particular network right here is it was too warm, right? Too warm for my own liking because I want to have a certain temperature on my filter tanks over there, which we'll address later. Um, so I wanted to lower these temperatures via passive cooling, which works, but it's not automated. But I wanted to understand how to do it. You'll need to, oh, oh, I got you, I got you. Oh, so you're playing with the rocket? Oh, <laughs> okay. So high temperatures needed, and I had a high volume here too. So, um, so roughly we'll say we have six, seven, eight kilomoles of gases, All right? So I, all I had over here was like five megapascals. Oh, look at that. Is that working? Liquid going up or down? Wait for it. Nitrogen number went down? There's pressure because of the nitrogen. So that should be getting pumped out though. I don't know. 
Liquid's going up because it's getting too cold. Alright. Anyway, so I had hot gases, high volume, high content. Over here, I had cold gas, but much, much lower content. So to do better cooling, I added more gas on this side, more uh, moles. And even though I have more had more moles over here, I was able to store more cooling and exchange it via this guy. And it worked out real well. Well, let me ask you some, Never mind. All right. Hmm. So now, I have a potential problem over there because I don't see the gas being pumped out, even though it should be. The stress is going up, so um, all right, what I want to do. I need to set up something over here so when I start filtering, if something gets too cold, I have a way of fixing it. Um, so I'm gonna go, instead of using these small tanks, I'm gonna use a bigger tank. So I need a insulated liquid tank. I got no silicone. And then copper. You know what? Should probably when I went out mining yesterday, I didn't even think about picking up silicone. Oh. Chuck on it. So this has got no gas in it. For some reason, I can't seem to get this stuff to pump out. Um, I have an idea. I don't 
stuff. It's a really good idea. Um, okay, what I need to do... This. Let's pick those up. Split them in half. And drop those. Just let's grab that real quick. Put that back. Oh, I forgot to connect that side. Dang it. Now that's working. So if I turn one off. Why why it wasn't working before I have no idea. It's like it's like it didn't know there was a pump there or something. Heard. Alright. Alright, silicone this get finished did okay oh. oh where'd all the iron go all right it's big chunk bust up big chunk and now we'll make this So if I do this here and basically I'm doing this. So I need um, some insulated water pipes. That's not going to be enough. All the valves and stuff over there too, so it should be okay. Looks like I need to add more panels. Yeah. So let's see. Pump that out. So again, as it stands, Everything's going to be all nice and warm and toasty over here. So I'm doing passive cooling, but I'm brute forcing problems, which I guess I'm okay with right now. Um, 
Now, hypothetically, without any logic, if I take a look at my temperatures up here, I think we're at 258 degrees Celsius. 258, 259, 258. So we'll say 260 degrees Celsius which really isn't my target, but it is something as a target right now. So if I come over here, we're 100 degrees Celsius over. So if I throw this valve, We're looking for the magic number of like 260 to show up there. Let that bottom out on a little bit. Um, oh, that's that's more than enough liquid pipes. Jeez, give it. You give him some silicone, and he thinks he can just make pipes for days. All right, so let's um put that there. Where's the valves at? There. So we're gonna want to hook up. Two condensations. One evaporation. Or one expansion. Sorry. I got brown pipes over here. Sweet. Power critical. What? There is a charging station right over here. One, two, three, four. So if I stand here. Power critical. No, no. Really? One, two, three, four. So if I stand four away, so it's, I guess it's trying to charge, but it's not charging. I'm just not losing. I'm still losing. They break these things too. It's supposed to be a five frame range. If I go here. Bizarre. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you get your tea, mister. So, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the filters. And um, For some reason, things get too cold. This whole thing should kick in and work. I guess I can hook up purge valve just in case. Figure that out later. So I don't need this apparatus here. That's going to be constantly drawing power. So, um, probably won't get a whole lot of agreement. I think I'm going to hook up some logic. Now I can't detect anything in this tank. But if there's, if there's pressure, um, in this pipe, which unfortunately I can't put a pipe analyzer on it. So let, let's do this then. Um, not very pretty, but it needs to be on this side. So let's, let's change this around a little bit. Dang it, Andy. can put a pipe analyzer here we can put some logic all is better and what i can do is say so if if this fills up with gas it should leak into this pipe if i detect pressure i can turn on these to pump it out all right that way they're not always on So that'll give me something to do while I'm waiting for all this gas to get pumped out. It's gonna take a while. Um, so with, with all these added doodads hooked up and turned on, it's a little bit more draw on my power. Um, big draw on the power. So let's... um. I want a logic reader.
We need some pipe analyzers. I'm going to put a pipe analyzer there. Put a pipe analyzer. There. Um, I need that. Um, I could do the same thing with that too. I could put a pipe analyzer here. Would I save power if I had three chips on all the time versus this thing? So what is the purge valve? 100 watts. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna do it. So for this one, let's start over here. I'm going to read, I'm going to do a logic reader. And we're going to do a batch on those. Um, No, not a logic mirror. Did it again. Right. Logic reader. Logic writer. This one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a logic. Reader. I want to put my logic writer right there, but that's in the trunk. Okay, so let's do this. Then. All right, it takes care of that. I need three processors and three memory.
know what? I'm gonna take a book out of a bin and um, I'm gonna put them on walls somewhere. Alrighty. I had a fire yesterday. I don't want another one. Um, all right, so let's um some chips wired up here. So don't need nothing there because there's nothing there. Oops, that's wrong. Oh, nope. Yep, nope. Okay, that looks good. So let's see here. This will be pipe analyzer, 
Tooling. Um, gas accumulation. What we want to do. Oh, you know what? I can't do a batch rider because this is on a network here. Um, shared network. Uh, uh, um, so we're going to have to do a logic rider and just turn on one and hopefully that works. So we're going to check this. If this has gas in it. So if we see any pressure, turn that on until it's zero. Something like that. Let's see if I can do this. Let's turn. This needs to say uh, TVP. There. We want to look at the... Huh. So there's pressure in there. Oh, whoops, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Pipe analyzer. Pipe analyzer, cooling gas accumulation. Renfionix asked me. Hey, Macho Man Randy Savage, if you were going to help Gamer Circle on Stationeers to help devise a cooling system for gases on his moon base, what would be your overall design philosophy, passive or active cooling? Oh, yeah, dig it. When you're the Macho Man, you go all out with maximum coolness. Yeah, active cooling is the way to go. The intensity at a fever pitch. You gotta keep those gases chilled like the top ropes are before I drop the big elbow. Controlled and powerful. Ready to explode at the right moment. Snap into it. Active cooling with maximum coolness, macho man style. Sounds like they're trying to turn those ordinary gases into the nitrous oxide of the moon base. If they get any colder, they'd be penguins' pajamas. Very top gear, if you ask me. Plenty of power and a flair for the dramatics. Just avoid turning the whole operation into a Hindenburg reenactment. Let's stick to moon craters, not craters on the moon, yeah? Did, did they agree? That was awesome, Ren. Thanks, man. Power low. Uh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'm, I'm going to figure out the best spacing for all these things. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. All right, so if the pressure is greater than, that's what we want, than zero, we want to turn something on. So we want to compare the logic reader. Oh, I need to name these. Oops. Oh, geez.
Uh, all right, so we want to look at the logic reader. And we want to compare it to, oh, that's right. So we should get his, uh, that's weird. So we want to look at logic. Oh, I did that wrong. That should be logic. Um, reader greater than logic. I, never mind. There we go. Too bad Dolph Lundgren isn't an option. Really? I didn't know that. Then if this state is ever a one, we're going to look at the logic compare. Then we're going to look at the TVP. We're going to turn it on. So if gas accumulates in here, based upon what this detects, It'll turn this on to pump the gas out until it gets down to zero. That's the plan versus leaving these on all the time. I need some more cable. Now I'm wondering, this one is on, and I'm wondering if, uh, I need to name these things here. All right, so this is cooling, right? Cooling gas accumulation. Um, and this would be, Um, it's cooling gases. I'm gonna call this TVP turbo volume pump gas. You have a good one, Caden. Thanks a lot for helping out. I'm, I'm very uneducated with this stuff. So it takes many, many crayons. That's good. Um, that's good. All right, now we just have to connect all the Well, if it's complicated, I'm going to have a brain fart, then a hemorrhage, and then I'll probably die. That's an exaggeration. I must have accidentally turned that one on. Freaking me out. All right, so, um, we're going to do the same thing. We want to look at 
pipe analyzer. We're looking for pipe analyzer cooling gases. Gas cooling storage, right? Gas. No, it's just cooling gas. I got the wrong one. Cooling gases. Okay. We want pressure. Same thing. If it's greater, um, looking for logic reader cooling gases. Should get a zero. And we're going to um, prepare. We're looking for TVP gas. So that turned itself off because it nice logic worked. Yay. All right. And we're doing the same thing for the purge valve here. So Let's go get some more cables. Oh, there's a pipe in the way. Oh, how am I gonna do this? Uh, I'm gonna cheat with the pipe. thought about that.
What power system are you? I vote squirrel cages. <laughs> uh, just solar right now. I'm uh, still trying to wrap my head around understanding what devices do what when it comes to cooling. And uh, being that A, some of them are broke or bugged and they don't apply to real world. That's causing a little bit more water bills. Um, yeah. Oh, so I tell you what, it, it's been a stretch for me. It really has. And, um, doesn't help when they keep breaking stuff in this game. You know, it's a game that you love to hate love it when they say they're going to do something they do it you go oh cool new rocket system awesome but then they break other stuff why um all right i think they're all wired correct all right did I, I i did all right i'm just i'm talking gibberish now all right so we're doing the same thing so this purge valve only needs to be on oh wait i need to put a pipe analyzer here whoops I've never used a water pipe analyzer. I'm, I imagine it's the same, but I've never needed one. I'm going to make one now. Can I just... Oh. Nope, of course not. Uh, we did a little trip down memory lane. I, I have a bunch of... All right. So we just lost power. Looks like the internet stayed up. My computer stayed up, my lights flickered, but they're all tied into a, an APC, which by the way, we have in the game. Oh, wait, how many of those did I just make? Dang it, I got distracted. Ugh. Um, yeah, you know, I, how long does APC have? My, uh, my, my Google hub went offline. The, um, the gaming rig do, has less because of the card and more monitors. So underneath my desk, I have two large power strips, one power strip for each computer monitor. Those power strips go into two separate APCs. They're power tech, so they're pretty good. Um, the longest I've had to use them was for like 15 minutes and um, they held up fine, but um, I can get up to, with my streaming PC and doing nothing, I had two hours. Doing nothing on my gaming PC, I had about an hour and four minutes or five minutes. I did a little control test. Uh, and those are Cybertech APCs. And then I have um, over on our, where our router and whatnot is, uh, that's a, those are Cybertech and that's an APC. And that one's got a little battery in it, so. It worked. So power flicker, I'm still online. Yay. All right, so we want to put this um, like that. Yes. Don't need two of these. <sighs> if your inverter is pure sign, then you can figure out the solar. Yes, yes. You know, and, and that's something I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to because my garage is a mess. It's going to get cleaned up starting soon. I say that because I don't know what I'm doing. I, I, I can watch as many videos on French cleats and making uh, tool organizers for French cleats, but never really done any woodworking it means I go much slower. So as soon as I start getting everything cleaned up in the garage, to the right of the wall that we just painted, that's where I'm targeting to put the inverter, the bus bars, everything I need for solar. As a preliminary setup, I just got a text message. Hey, there may be some internet issues in the area. No, there's not. Um, but, and I didn't know this, our main breaker does not have a main shutoff valve. It has six mains because it's a uh, split, split phase. I think that's what it's called. 
So there's no main shutoff on the outside. There's no main shutoff in the breaker box. You have to turn off six that feed everything, but then there's still power coming to the box. So I don't have a way of putting a, an interlock in, in this breaker box. So next year we're looking to get some estimates to rip out the old and put in a new one. It's gonna be very costly. And no, I don't have the skill set. All right, so we want to that. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Let me turn that on. Okay. All right, then let's give it a name. So as soon as, uh, as soon as, or, you know, once I set it up, hint, never use electronics on estimated sign looks like a triangle or square wave. Oh, okay. Well, you know, so there's pure sign versus non-pure sign, and then you can have uh, what is it? Um, EWM pulse modulated. So that you don't want that. You want the MPP, MQP, MP. Oh, there's too many. QMP. I have a Victron, the, the good one. Uh, oh wait, naming. So it, hopefully that's going to be a, a spring project. Get out there and set it up, nailed up to a wall. I'm going to put a piece of plywood and, and get everything all situated. Then I'll move it to a cart so I can move it into the house and use it. So, um, right. So logic reader, we want to read that. Pipe analyzer. Huh. Well, that's strange. How come that one doesn't show up on the network? Liquid pi oh, it's under L for liquid. Got it, got it, got it. There it is. We're looking for pressure. So the purge valve is gonna get turned on when it detects pressure in here. Water has no pressure, right? It's only, only when there's gas. So greater than zero. We're gonna look at the logic reader. Purge, all right. We're gonna do it to a logic memory. Then we're gonna look at the purge valve. Turning it on based upon here. All right. So rather than leaving all these pumps on, I'm going to save a little bit of energy. So if a situation arises, hopefully, the logic kicks in, we'll save my keister. Uh oh. Oh, did I have a burst pipe somewhere I didn't notice? Uh oh, what happened? Oh, I turned on the filters. Oh, wow, that took, I thought that was gonna take all day. I got scared. <laughs> well, nice. All right, so now we have filtered gases. 281, 276, 250, all right. So they're still roughly about the same. We'll see. All right, 
So now, um, I wonder if I could do the same thing. So these things are only needed if I have liquid. I wonder if I can detect liquid because I don't know what these things draw on power. Anyway. Um, oops. I wonder, if, I wonder if that can be detected. Hmm. So what I need to come up with is a, I need to come up with a, a temperature for the gases. And 30 degrees Celsius doesn't work for pollutants, right? Oh, actually it does. So I can say 30 degrees Celsius. That'd be... 303 is what I'm looking for then. So if, if my temperature gets higher than 303 here, I want to flip this valve. All right. Now also, before I start get, um, I got to change this around though. This is not... Um, the filtering systems aren't as efficient as they used to. And Electra pointed out that to make it more efficient, you have to have a high pressure input, which I can do. I under, I'll just use a turbo uh, pump and don't do anything until it reaches it and then start filtering. So I can do that. I gotta figure out how I wanna do that though. Another power flicker. So I guess what I could do is um, I was thinking about this. Do I really want to set up arc furnaces to capture the gases when at this point or soon I can, um, can't I make a drill? Like if I put a drill, um, over here, a couple drills, and then output to um, do some sorting, because then the, uh, the dirty ore doesn't have any gas, so I don't have to use an arc furnace or anything.
pollutant at 30 degrees Celsius is 3.5 above 3.8 would start adding to the stress. Ooh. All right. Well, okay. Oh, that's right. Oh, pollutants. Right. So the, these, th this is what I got to worry about. Right. So I got to do, oops. This and is it nitrous oxide? I got to do that gizmo too. Okay. So I've got some very basic cooling set up, nothing automated. Um, now this stuff should be getting cold, right? Cause I'm not doing anything. It's getting very cold, but no liquid yet. Is it, is it gonna, is it still getting cold? And this is where I could check that graph, right? So I don't know if I'm gonna understand this, but nitro gin. And if I have pressure of five megapascals, wait, or four megapascals, sorry. So it'll get up to minus 100 degrees and that's it. Okay. And the freezing is minus 233 degrees Celsius. So why did it liquefy over here? That's interesting. I need to hook up another array of panels. Yeah. I can't make the big batteries yet, right? That requires the other Yeah. So I have to make some stellite. So I, I need that for, so let's see how, how hard would that be? So station cheat. Hey, Kata. It's no, it's not to make stellite. Ooh. All right. That's, okay. So that's achievable. That's like, just, it's almost like doing invar. All right. But, um, I think what we're going to do right now, we're going to do this. Let's do three of these. That was pretty cool. Two power flickers. It looks like uh, Spectrum stayed online wherever they were. So that's the only way that I'd be knocked off. I can't control if their stuff stays online though. We're going to add some more power generation and storage because having more devices means more power draw. And um, this is the biggest thing because I'm fuel source. <sighs> I have to get some more ice eventually. Excuse me.
So I'm waiting for that. Let's go. We do one more row. I think I got a pile of stuff out here. Yeah, okay, so there's some cable. There's some, oh, some other cables. So I need to bring some frames out and do some preliminary, but I wanna bring, um, I wanna set up the batteries. I gotta build them. Keep forgetting. Uh. A lot of batteries. There might just be a moisture farmer occupation on the moon before I die. Oh, cool. Well, I mean. You know, I don't know much about nothing when it comes to that, but I understand we found ice, right? Or ice has been found. So that's one of the three basic components to, to make fuel. So hopefully, you know, we'll be able to make rocket fuel over at the moon and we don't have to take the fuel there. That'd be cool. All right. Um, you know, I, I can't remember now. When I read the article about locating water, The article said that's one third the battle to making fuel. I said, oh, cool. So I didn't read that much more into it. Go figure. Yeah, to, to have some sort of a refinement process in space or on the surface of the moon, that's a huge challenge, but you know, Again, that was always the big thing, right? So when you're, which which is part of the struggle that SpaceX wants to get away from, why cart everything up there? If, if you need, hypothetically, let's say you need a thousand gallons of fuel to get there and back. Well, getting back means, you know, doing all these course maneuvers and then slowing down before you shed everything and then fight the atmosphere where SpaceX wants to belly flop through and then use the land to have a reusable craft. Biggest problem will moon dust. The Apollo astronaut suits had about 50 years of wear and tear in a matter of days. Oh yeah, yeah, that stuff was brutal. And it, it clung to everything too, very statically charged. All right, now to make these, what do I need, welding? Uh, I need iron. Oh, iron sheet. Oh, okay. Uh. Oops. How many do I need? Or some more sensible thing to do is to use an orbital dock around Earth and have it shuttle shuttles running stuff up and down so they can refill their well, I mean, they they're supposed to build the gateway. Oh, that's probably way too much. Yeah. The the gateway station is supposed to be around the moon, so going to and back from the moon is you, you know, you have a place to sleep, eat, and refuel. And then you go down to the moon, you do some more work, you come up back and forth. But yes, space elevator. 
Sure. Okay. So, you know, it's about just getting closer, right? Heavy cables. So now we want, um, so before I make some, let me see if I can find some. Power low. I don't think I got any sheets over here. All right, so I need some steel sheets. Oh, here they are. Found them. And take these just in case. Let's get another. Oh, I made two. All right, so we're gonna need some solar panels. And we'll need 10 of these. I need a bunch of gold. Oh, crikey, I don't have any gold. All right. Let's use our furnace. Start making some stuff. This is, um... Uh... Pookie's here. Hi, Pookie. Is there no food in your bowl? digging the um uh, the uh pneumatic drill it works aces
Um, it's it's better. It's just as good as the heavy drill, except for you know, it doesn't require power. It just requires gas, and you know, don't leave it on. It'll eat through your gas. But um, the uh, let's see here. So that requires invar. So without without having to make invar, you can make this one and just put in CO2, you know, from your waste tank if you wanted to. See ya. See ya. All right. All right, we got the gas. So let's turn this off. Fire that up. There it goes. Let me go turn these guys off. Save a little power. Hi, Pookie. What's, oh, where'd you go? Oh, you're in between my... Okay. Does it vent the gas or just recovery from the tool? Nah, it's it's nothing fancy animated like that. It just... So if I turn it on... Looks like a weird spray can. Gun. All right, there's our gold. Now, um, I think I have plenty of steel, I think. Yeah. I have copper, silicone. Actually, let's go ahead and smelt some more silicone. Oh, I don't have any. All right, never mind. Let's go do um, some copper. Actually, I don't think I want to do the hood since since I learned from the miners that you get dirty ore and that the gas centrifuge cleans it, you don't get gases from it. So I think I want to go that route instead. All right, then if we evacuate, very warm. That's really warm. All right, so. Um, So what I want to do is put the miner down there, dig it up, bring the ore over. I'm sorry, put the miner over here, take the ore out, do some sorting just for the three that you can't smelt, and then bring the ones just to a single or to two arc, uh, arc furnaces and uh, dump the ore like right here. Or no, 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 I want to sort all the ore. Oh, all right, hang on, I got to rethink that. Got to rethink that. All right, gold. Um, copper, just did copper. Then steel. All right. So my target is 260 degrees Celsius, right? Isn't that what I roughly have over here? No, 280. And 260. 
Your filling system for supplies is all over the place. I know, I know. I use the uh, moon service as a locker. So let's go ahead and cool that. Moon locker. All right, let's load that. Give that a break. All right, let's um. You know, I have a certain degree of tidiness, I do, but also to constantly be rearranging things and stuff like that, I think people would go, ah, I'm gonna go watch cartoons or something, all right? So. Oh, I didn't bring enough. Oh, God, I thought I had enough. All right, so let's grab this for right now. We wanna go one, two, three. Four, five, and on the sixth, I believe, is when we start going over, right? So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth. One, two. All right, so this is where we start going that way. Power low. Shush. Also, by getting the drill, a drill set up, I wouldn't have to mine as much. All right, I need frames. Thought I had more frames. Oh, wait, let's do this. Let's uh, drop off the sheets. I don't need all the plumbing supplies, so we can get rid of those. Did I see I guess I got no more steel frames. Right. Uh, we're gonna need some heavy cable. Which, oh, I got piles over there. All right. So the furnace should be empty now. Turn that off. And again, our target is lower than that.
And we'll let that balance out a little bit. Just check some stuff here. Nothing there, nice. Nothing there. Everything's cool. All right. One more solar panel. That should be good there. Make any more. sheets are over there all right so let's um did i drop off the sheets oh they're there all right We put the power on the back side.
All right. And there should be some. There we are. Alrighty, so swap the disc and we want to go. So now let's uh, swap back to this. So we'll go ahead and leave those there. Let's leave these out here. Let's we'll leave those. And this, these two stacks. So let's just make sure I didn't miss anything here. That doesn't look like it. All right, sun's coming out. Yay. Did I turn that off? It did. Yay. 
All right. So good. Oh, well, okay. Oh, I wonder if uh, this would matter. And yes, I can see that the panels at low at, at sunrise did cast a shadow, but I'm not going to worry about it. Nope, we're good. So we want to get this down to uh, 260, right? That was my target. Oh no, 280. All right, we'll go with uh, 260. All right, so let's figure out, uh, let me swap a battery so I can wander here a little bit. So if, if I want my ore to end up in the same place, I don't think I'm gonna connect the arc furnaces to this one. So I think we're going to do something similar to the multiplayer is we're going to drop some drills here with the centrifuge. Do a, a pre-sort grabbing the stuff that can't be uh, smelted. Smelt them. And I'm not going to do four arc furnaces. I'm just going to do two. And uh, then we'll sort the output and start storing it. So that way... Uh, Yeah, do that tomorrow. So it's not pretty, it's not elegant. So also tomorrow, I'm gonna put, um, I have to figure out. Cause I don't know if I wanna use these big gargantuan things to, uh, to equalize my, my temperatures over there. Um, what I wanna do is create a sub basement um, I do have to go on the pollutant on the X and on the nitrix oxide. I have to put the whole, uh, um, I have to do this setup. But I want to put the uh, heat exchangers. wonder if I should use the big ones. That'll be tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow. We'll figure it out. But at least I've kind of wrapped my head around what I need to do in this scenario to keep my gases cool. And if they get too cold, I have some redundant, some mechanism in place to help pull it out. And uh, I think it's good. So let's roll some credits here, guys. Do, 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 do. I tell you what, trying to wrap my head around, you know, passive and active cooling and stuff like that, I, it looks like I'm doing a mix and that's fine.
Uh, Caden, you're you're more than welcome. Yes, yeah, Sunday. So Sunday, it's going to be Ben, Caden, and I. Caden's going to work on a fish tank. Uh, Soul, thanks for the follow. Ren, thanks for the 500 bits, man. Appreciate that. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a good one.